What's up guys, it's Matchbox Madness back with another Hot Wheels Super Treasure Hunt review. Today we are looking at the Porsche 934.5, which was the Super Treasure Hunt for Hot Wheels 2018A cases. Super happy to open this one up. I love Porsche Supers. I believe this is only the second one they've done, which means I have both Porsche Supers. This is not one I ended up finding uh, on my own. A buddy of mine, John Racer 3, gave me this to me as a gift. So huge shout out to John Racer 3 for hooking up with me with this car. It was a while ago I got it. I've been waiting to open it. Um, today's the day I'm finally opening the Porsche Super Treasure Hunt. I've been debating on just when I should do it because I like the look of it on card, but I just have to have it open and in my display case. So today's the day we finally do that. Here's the regular version, just kind of in your light blue. There you can see the car. It's part of the Night Burner series, series number 2 of 10, uh, collector number 64 of 365. Obviously, this is a new model this year, so you cannot see any information on the car in the back. It was a new model in 2017, however. We saw it in a Zamac and white version, I believe. There might have been one other. I think it might have been released in, like, orange. I can't remember, but the white version was fantastic. I absolutely loved it. We have the Hot Wheels 50th Anniversary logo and the new 2018 card art, so it looks really good. Real quick, here's a look at the Super on card. You can see not really any differences in terms of tampa work, but we'll take a look on that once we open it. Here's the regular. Let's crack this one first. There it is. This was one of my favorite 2017 new models. I really liked it. I'm a, I, I like a lot of the older Porsches. I think they look really good. I think Hot Wheels has a tendency to uh, produce too many of them sometimes and just kind of burn us out on some of the older models. Um, I would love to see a premium version of this, but uh, I, do, I do like the fact that they're re releasing the 934.5. I don't think we need to see three versions of it in the main line every year like we did with the 993 GT2 for a while. I feel like we got that model like two, three times a year um, in the main line in premium series, and now there's like 12 versions, and it's only been out four years, and it just kind of got overkill. I hope they don't do that with the 934.5. Anyways, here's the super version. If you're an on-card collector, avert your eyes. Oh, boy. There it is. The 934.5 Super Treasure Hunt. All right, and then there's the card. Obviously, you get the Super Treasure Hunt logo behind the car there. This car looks absolutely fantastic. First off, let me comment on the color of both of these cars. I'm a big fan of the blue for the Porsche. I think the main line looks very nice in that blue. I don't know if this is like a Spectre Flying Light blue for the Super Treasure Hunt. It looks like more of an aqua, but my god, is it a beautiful color. This aqua on the Super looks absolutely fantastic. It looks amazing. Um, just a fantastic deco on it. I really, really, really dig it. In terms of deco, it looks like we get the same pretty much on both cars. We get the 34 Porsche on the side there. Headlights and a logo. Same thing on this side. Nothing on the roof or the rear. Not going to complain. They don't. It doesn't look like they can really do taillights on this model, so I can't complain about that. Um, it, all in all, it just looks really well executed. A nice tinted windshield there. I really like that black tint uh, with the blue. Looks really good. And some nice white wheels. We'll talk about the white wheels because a lot of people did not like the white wheels on this Super. Anyways, here is the Super looking fantastic in that aqua color. Again, we get the headlights and the logo, the 34 and the Porsche. We don't get any extra deco. Um, sometimes Supers have extra decals on them. That's not the case. The only extra decal we get is the TH logo, which obviously every Super has. So yeah, no extra decals. And then those white wheels. I've gone back and forth on these things. Now that I have it out of uh, the box, originally I liked them. Then I didn't like them for a while. Now that I have it on the box, though, I, I really like the wheels. I think they work. I think they look fantastic. They don't look as bad as they do in pictures. Once you have it in hand, um, it just looks a lot better. Once it's off the packaging, I think uh, the white wheels, my opinion on them, is significantly improved. I don't think it's as much of a problem as it was before. However, I uh, see one thing that's a little weird to me. I'm not sure if this is just the lighting or the tint. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but the interior looks like it's red. I'm not sure what's up with that. If that's a red interior, that's just a bad choice because it's throwing me off a little bit. You have this beautiful aqua white combination with a nice black tint there. And then why do you have a red interior? That doesn't fit with any of the colors going on here. 
And I'm starting to notice it now a little in the regular version. You can sort of see it's red. So I'm not sure if that's just the lighting or it's actually a red interior. If it is a red interior, it's really odd because it just throws me off a little bit. I'm going to give Hot Wheels the benefit of the... Ah, it's a red interior. I'm pretty sure of that now. Not that I'm looking at it from a distance. It's a red interior. So I don't know why they did that. That's a little weird. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure why. That's different. Not a big fan of that. Anyways, other than that, I, like I said, I think it's fantastic execution. The best part of this super is most certainly the aqua color. It looks fantastic. The wheels, like I said, for me, once I opened it, they aren't a problem. They used to be. They're not. Um, now that I'm seeing it in hand, they're not a problem. They don't look terrible. The main line's actually fantastic, too. I really like this main line. The blue and white wheels may make it um, probably my second favorite version of... Uh, I, I'm not sure if it's better than the white version. They're, they're up there. They're both tied. I, I like the deco on both. I like the color on both. The wheels on this one are better than they were on the white model. Um, that's kind of what makes it so close. Anyways, the Super is probably my favorite version of my collection. I do like it a little bit better than the mainline just because of that aqua color. I'm a little biased since it's a Super too. I'll be honest. Um, but yeah, all in all, fantastic execution from Hot Wheels. I'm glad um, they're doing Porsche Supers. I think seeing a Porsche Super every year would be super cool. Um, I think maybe they should do a modern Porsche next. We've seen the 993 GT2. We've seen the 934.5. Maybe go do the GT3 RS, the new version they released. I'd love to see a super version of that. Um, so that's all for now, guys. Please. Oh, actually, I got to rate the cars. My bad. I almost forgot to do that. Um, the regular, so the blue version right here, on a scale of 1 to 10, we'll go with an 8.5 on the super on a scale of 1 to 10. Like I said, it's a little bit bit uh little better we'll go with a nine out of ten i really like the super happy to have it that's all for now guys please like comment subscribe and i'll see y'all later peace